Today also marks the 81st anniversary of the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor. That is a day President Roosevelt called a date which will live in infamy. More than 2,400 military members and civilians lost their lives in that attack. This morning, the USS Midway will hold a ceremony to commemorate this big part of our country's history. Yeah, we want to turn things over to ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell, who is there live. Marie, this is an annual event. It draws hundreds of people who just want to pay tribute. It really does, Virginia. And if you've never attended one of these events, the ceremony is usually held right above us on uh, the flight deck. We, though, are standing in one of the hangar bays, specifically standing right next to uh, World War II aircraft. I believe this one right here is called the Mark 13 Aerial Torpedo. Now, aside from the Pearl Harbor veterans and their families who attend, there are also other retired service members. We're actually going to introduce you to one who attends every year and actually spends most of his time walking the USS Midway. So this is a relatively rare example of an earlier version of the Wildcat. For Carl Zingheim, walking people through the exhibits and sharing the history of the USS Midway is more than just part of his responsibilities as the ship's designated historian. It's also his passion. His dad served in the military, and so did he after graduating from the Naval Academy. I was a history major uh, at the academy, and when I was working in the private sector after my active duty term was over, uh, I realized that this would probably be a much better application of my background, interest, and education. And during his time on the Midway, he's participated in a number of events, including the annual Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day ceremony. The commemoration includes a wreath laying, two bell ceremony, and missing man flyover. Carl says each passing year, the number of participants gets larger, but the number of Pearl Harbor veterans who are present gets smaller. We're at a point now where we're in this transition to where, sadly, there just aren't that many of the veterans uh, around any longer. Time has, has taken its toll. But adds he's committed to doing his part in keeping this special ceremony alive to preserve such a rich part of this specific time in military history. Being able to have uh, the enjoyment of the, the recollections and the presence of the veterans and then transitioning smoothly to those who grew up with them, either as the parent or the grandparent, and be able to preserve that kind of legacy well into the rest of this century. So if you are interested in attending, the ceremony is free and open to the public. It will begin at 9 o'clock. And in 30 minutes, we'll make our way up to the flight deck to show, show you all of the preps that is underway for today's event. We're live aboard the USS Midway. Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.